right, so another big spot for this high-level wrestler here tonight. And the opposition knows what's coming, but more often than not in the UFC, they've been unable to stop. It's because since a little boy, he spent his life on the wrestling mats. And even though you start to prepare for it late, you cannot match his ability to train, his ability to focus, the idea that once he gets a hold of you, it only ends with him in top position. It does not matter if he has to get a high crotch. It does not matter if he needs to get a single leg or a double leg. The purpose is to get you to the floor, and he has been trained his entire life to do just that. Yeah, he did well. He's got a lot of throws and takedowns and trips in his arsenal, and we'll try to put them to good use in this matchup here tonight. For the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. in the building. Ready. He's the third man in the octagon ready. tonight. Let's do it. All right, ready to go for round one. And when you're fighting Dan Henderson, you better get the hands up. Tim Boach got knocked out in 28 seconds. That was a main event in New Orleans back in 2015. Hendo a little bit long in the tooth, sure. But still a very fast starter. You have to be weary of Hendo's power, particularly in the early going. advantage of his reach edge, and he certainly did there. You buy the ticket to see fights like this. What a fight. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight. No feeling out process at all. Once this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Oh, nice takedown defense there. Looked like the boxer might have even cracked a wry smile. The wrestler tried to get him down, 0 for 1 thus far. Well, that's him just kind of acknowledging that the work that he put in is paying off, paying dividends. I wouldn't be surprised if he looks over to the corner and gives him a wink and goes, hats off to you, boys. You got me prepared. Choi's forehead is bleeding now. Cut just opened up. Misses again with a right punch. Nice jab by Choi. Just over three minutes now to go. What a fun fight. These two are going back and forth. Nice counter right hook there. Oh, nice combination, yes. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. right through the guard. Fighter lands a left. Oh, nice jab to the head by Choi. Again with a beautiful jab. Oh, oh gotta keep pressing here. 
Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to get All right, so the overhand has certainly been a big weapon for him here tonight. Look for him to go right back to it here if he can find an opening. Eats a jab there. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Back and forth we go. Just missed with the left there. Perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. All right, so he's landed a few seminal uppercuts already, DC. Got to think he goes back to it. I am almost certain he's going to go and try to find another one. Oh. Anderson's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. 15 seconds. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Joy's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting it over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Second round underway. Joy gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Oh, roundhouse kick lands. Just out of range with the big right hand. Blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively. No, he is on Deep Street right now. He's seeing Sweetie Bird over the top of his head. When you take the hook like that, you are on. Why do you lay? Yes, smart adjustment. Yep. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Choi's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. There it is, now he's running him out. Henderson getting work from the top here. He's got to do a better job to cover up. Oh, you got to love the ground and pound strikes here. Starting to do some really picture-perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Strong outside leg kick. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Henderson. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Henderson's tough as it gets, but how about the size of the... Serve him up. Go get him. Strong outside leg kick. 
Big right hook coming. It's blocked. The fighters separate. Under three minutes now to go in the round. That is it. Oh, my goodness. With one of the greatest knockouts you will see. I mean, wow. Let's get it to Bruce Buffer to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 11 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. So the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi, with another highlight for the reel here tonight. A big win for him in this featherweight division. And it's pretty wild to think that this guy is just getting started.